Good morning, everybody. We're starting off another week here. We're headed off to Kenora again. Nice little rounder. I don't know if it's gonna be a rounder yet. I don't know where I'm going after I deliver, but taking the usual load from Kenora down to Brainerd to get the week started. We'll see where the ball rolls from there. So let's get Old Blue loaded up. I need to go grab a step deck trailer or a flat, preferably a step, but either one will work. I need to go grab a trailer and zip on over there. Trailer 125D for drop deck. It's the one we're married to right now. Well, I'm married to Brit, my truck is married to 125D right now. Hopefully they stay married all week. I just greased my fifth wheel underneath there and I switched trailers, all my grease goes to someone else. So half my grease, it stays on the trailer, right? Half of it stays on the fifth wheel, some of it stays on the trailer. I just like to keep the same trailer as much as possible. I would like to have it that I always have the same trailer, always. Man, I'd polish that thing up, I'd keep it clean. It would always, always be married to my truck then, right? But we do a lot of dropping hooks. I'll drop an empty trailer, it'll get loaded, I'll grab a different loaded trailer. That's why I don't own my own trailer. Do a lot of dropping hooks, and if I had my own trailer, it would limit the amount of loads I could pick up. Because then I couldn't pick up a preloaded trailer, I'd always have to go there and get my trailer loaded myself. Because I'm not going to send someone else with my trailer so that they can wreck it. <laughs> I have trust issues. You're not gonna pull my equipment. If it's my trailer, I can wreck it myself. Thank you very much. So, uh, it is what it is. I pull their trailers. Uh, or trailers that I don't own, but it's my truck, right? So, I'm contracted to move freight around on these trailers. So, speaking of freight, speaking of trailers, speaking of trucks, let's take this truck, pull in this trailer, let's take it over to where our freight is. In Kenora, it's sitting on the ground over there. We want to take it off the ground, put it on our trailer, tie it down, tarp it, and bring it down to Brainerd, Minnesota, where it's supposed to be. And just in case you don't believe me, because you don't trust me, I don't trust you either. <laughs> there you go. Step deck. 53 foot aluminum step deck. Trailer 125D. Construction, construction. Wonder how long this is gonna go on for yet. This is that blasting zone again. Still blasting away the rock. Probably takes a lot of time. I mean, I'm guessing. All right, there's a little sign person up ahead there. I gotta wait for them to say it's time to go. No one coming up behind me yet, so I have my four ways on just so that when they come around the corner, they'll know we're stopped. Not 
too bad. This guy stacks. He's gotta be like 15 feet high. <laughs> nice. There's a line up here. That's nice. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Hopefully it won't take too long. Ah, it won't take long. The guy's right there fueling his truck. It'll be fast. He's watching me roll up behind him now. So this is Petro Pass in Kenora. cheapest juice along my route today unless if I were to be able to wait all the way to Brainerd but I don't think I've got enough fuel I've got just over well between a third and half tank so what is that like five eighths of a tank no th three eighths four eighths three eighths of a tank I don't know not enough to get there in my opinion I'm not gonna risk it spot under a street light just to camp out for the night nice quiet area it was a good drive down we had some delays at the border though uh, we had some issues with the paperwork getting cleared so that cost me over two and a half hours so I didn't get here as early as I wanted to so I'm not gonna be able to get going as early as I want to tomorrow I was supposed to run back and grab another load before end of day tomorrow, and now that's might not happen. We'll see. I'll get out of here as fast as I can in the morning. Like I said, I just have to unload around the corner, around over there, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can still get there by end of day tomorrow. If not, maybe I'll have to pick it up the next day, or or I might go to someone else. Hope not, but. We'll see what happens. There's my load. So today's been a bit of a shorter day. Another rush day. There's been a lot of these kind of days lately. I'm tired now too. That two and a half hour delay really, really upset me and really just threw me off today. I was just, I'm always in such a rush, you know? And then when I'm finally starting to catch up, there's a big delay. But there's this there's, there's a name we have for that. It's called trucking. <laughs> it's, 
It is what it is. I'm just tired and frustrated. Maybe I'm a little grumpy. I need to go to sleep and just get some get some good shut eye. And uh, tomorrow is a new day. And it'll all get sorted out tomorrow. We'll figure it out. So today wasn't the greatest day. You know, I, Trucker Josh always seems to have great days, right? Wrong. I have bad days. <laughs> I have more of them than I'd like. But eh, tomorrow is another day. I'm still excited to get up tomorrow and excited to see where life brings me and what's in store for me in the future. And I'm always a bit of an optimist. I, I believe the future is bright. At least I want to believe the future is bright. So thanks for hanging out with me, tagging along with me, keeping me company. I don't know if I can do it without you guys. <laughs> I appreciate all your comments that you leave for me and uh, everything else that you do for me. You guys have came and helped us out more than once before. And I really appreciate all of you. So remember, just stay safe out there, everybody. It's a crazy world out there. Stay safe, be safe. And when you're out there on the highways, please drive safe. I'll see you tomorrow.